guys, welcome back to another vlog with Missy Lynn. Uh, your hair's not how it goes. Your hair's hey guys, welcome back to another vlog with Missy Lynn. No, that's not how it goes. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog with Missy Lynn. Lord, not me forgetting how to work the camera. Did you miss me? So obviously there's an elephant in the room and you probably are wondering, girl, where the heck have you been? I have been here. I've been around in these social media streets, just not here on YouTube. It hasn't really been too much other than me really just um, doing some self-reflection, some self-work, focusing on my mental health, building healthier relationships with family and friends, just making it all about me because sometimes it has to be about you, especially whenever you are kind of spreading yourself thin, um, you know, trying to help and please everybody. So yeah, I just needed a break. My phone, my phone is the only thing that actually comes with me. And if I'm truly in the moment, I'm not picking up the camera. I'm not vlogging. I'm not doing any of that. And it has done wonders for my mental health. Um, yeah. My boyfriend, so, okay, wait, <laughs> I need to kind of back it up a bit. So, if you are a longtime follower of mine from the vlog channel, then of course you already know Wendell. For those of you who are only subscribed to my beauty channel, which I am now making into just my lifestyle channel, I'm only going to have one channel, and my vlog channel will be just an archive of all of my old vlogs. But anyway, he's a longtime friend. Um, from like high school and our relationship evolved. Um, he has a beautiful 11 year old daughter. Recently, we went to Barbados. Um, we traveled with his sister and her family. And y'all, when I tell y'all, I needed that vacation. Like everything about that vacation was, I needed that. So let me just run down the trip for y'all. So we did some shopping. We got Maya's passport and we headed to the airport. Woohoo, she got her passport. You, my friend, are now internationally <laughs> official. How does it feel? Uh, well, I feel special. You feel special? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Barbados really late and the villa wouldn't be ready until the next day because we did arrive a day early and Wendell's sister their flights got delayed so they were coming a day later so we ended up just getting um, a hotel room at the Marriott the courtyard Marriott for the night it was only like literally for a few hours so we could shower and freshen up next morning we had some time to waste so we decided to check out Bridgetown we took a taxi down to Bridgetown and we did some exploring, we did some shopping, and I also ran into two subscribers while I was there. Um, and one of my subscribers recommended that we try a restaurant. It's like the food court and the duty-free shopping center down in Bridgetown. And y'all, the food was amazing. It's totally different than like our food courts here in the US. They were literally serving some like home cooked meals. Is this the taxi line? I think so. Right. Okay. Thank you for saying hey. 
All right, guys, so our shopping spree has come to an end. We are headed back to check into the villa. I ended up running into two lovely subscribers, which is so mind blowing because I didn't even expect for anyone to see me or recognize me here. I've been off of YouTube for so long that my mom, I was like, I wasn't even thinking. So thank you both to the two beauties who stopped and showed love. One recognized Mundell first and was like, oh, I recognize him. And I was like, oh, is that Missy Lynn's boyfriend? And I'm like, what? Let me find out he'd be out here in these streets, these Barbados streets. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we ended up taking the local taxis, which was van number 11. And I really wanted Maya to experience the localness and not just like rent taxis, personal taxis the entire time. So we did do the public transportation and that was actually a really cool experience for her. Headed back to the villa to check in and y'all, my sister-in-law did a good job choosing the villa because the views were breathtaking. The villa was a beachfront villa with three bedrooms, three baths. It had a patio and on the patio, there was a plunge pool for us to just chill and relax. Y'all, it was worth every penny. walking in Bridgetown was no joke. We decided to check out the beach that was right in our backyard. Like the beach was amazing. It was a whole vibe. Maya and Wendell, they stayed in the water forever. I did get in the water at some point, um, but I was just, I was, first off, I was in awe and I was relaxing. Hey, pretty girl, you had fun? I did, I get to go with the pool upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sexy man. Let's see what you got. Almost. <laughs> and after that, we decided to get a bite to eat right there on the beach and some drinks. We ended up checking out the seafood shack and then tickle bar for the drinks. Jesus. Seafood mix linguine pasta from the seafood shack. Y'all, I'm up at 1 30 in the morning eating pasta. Like. <laughs> It literally never fails. Every time we're on vacation, we go to bed early. Like, never fails. I guess because our days are like jam packed and then like traveling, being jet lagged. We were wiped <laughs> the first day. 
I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring, but tonight we were in bed, well, in the house by like eight. I'm so tired, but I'm hungry. And that little seafood shack, hitting. It's seasoned just right. Seasoned just right. <laughs> Outfit of the day really quickly we're headed to lunch i just have on this little mesh cover-up um top it's a, it's a two-piece it comes with a skirt but it's inappropriate for lunch so i just wore that i got it from shoe deals in dallas and then my shorts i think i got these from h&m and then my handbag i got this from amazon and then my shoes are from zara and my earrings are pretty cool. I got it from this one girl on Instagram. I don't even know how to pronounce the company's name, but I'll be sure to tag it. Look at these two tenderoni. Hey, y'all cute or whatever. Look at y'all. Yeah. Maybe I need to press the button, huh? Hmm. Oh, you, you wasn't recording? Yeah, I'm recording. I said maybe I need to press the button. The first one on the left. No, hit, hit G. I'm sorry. Yeah, hit G. We're right on the first one on the left. <laughs> G for ground. Ground level. What is this? Where we just came from. Uh. Yeah. 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 Mm. Gang gang. Gang gang. Pipe train. Pipe train. That's my, uh, my little thing. Look at the view. What's she doing? Hmm. What is she doing? What is she doing? What is she doing? Hmm. That thing's sick, mm -hmm. Yes, right? Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I got you, ladies. See? Exit. Mm -hmm. And push. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely push pull. pull. <laughs> Definitely pull that. What restaurant are we going to? Uh, I don't know the name there. I just know where we're going. I guess I have to look it up, huh? Yeah, let me do that real Are we quick. going to the Gap? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So how do we get out of here, Dad? The door, Mom. The door. jerk chicken since I reacted because it's so spicy <laughs> got that Louisiana blood in <laughs> Pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. 
The next morning was an early morning for us. We headed to the nature reserve for the kids to see the animals. I thoroughly enjoyed looking at all of the animals. My favorites were the turtles, the peacocks, and the monkeys. And we also were able to see the live feeding of the monkeys. And they are so cute. They were like fighting and stuff, eating. It was, it was a really good time. Oh, look at the baby. Baby, oh, baby. Baby, oh, look at the deer. Oh. <laughs> oh, you trying to get him some butt? Yeah, I bought you one for you. <laughs> but get you some? Get you some, man. I ain't mad at that. Oh, you talking to me, Mr. Right there? I hate you, baby. <laughs> Don't move, bro. Uh, oh, 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 she jumped. She put it in. She put it in, she jumped. Hey, Papa, check it out. Picture with the monkeys. Oh, you good, man? Okay, so Thank you for keeping up with the monk dash games. We just had a fight. I did not catch an item, but we just had a fight. It looks like another one's about to go on. Zoom in, see what happens. Ooh. Looks like that monkey on top is about to jump out. Monkey's on the bottom. Keeping up with the monk dash games. Again. We have a family of monkeys. Excuse me, sir. And you can see there is some drama going on. I don't know what. Ooh, ooh. You can see that the monkey's got some drama going on over here. I wonder who started it. Mm -hmm. Hey, monkey. What up? Hey, fellas. Oh, we got another monkey. Oh, 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 drama. Oh no! Ooh. Take a monkey. Let's go. I don't know how I'm catching this on live. All right, but make oh oh. Just oh. Oh oh oh. Hey hey you okay? Ooh. Ooh. Hey hey. Step up. Watch my feet. 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 Please wait. Dad dad dad. Hey. <laughs> And then after we were done with that, we headed to the St. Nicholas Abbey for a rum tour and tasting, which was very educational. They kind of taught us about how rum was basically made. Um, and then we got to taste all of the different rums. Should I do this color or should I do pink or blue? Uh, I like this one because it kind of goes with everything. Yeah, I should get that one. Okay, here you go. Thank you. 
So which one are you gonna get? Oh, I thought you were getting one. I did that for you. Oh, he already, I already got it. I know, but you can get it. Oh, I can get a different one? You oh, get another one? Oh, you're treating me? Thank you, sweet girl. Um, I'll let you choose me one. You were looking at the turtles. So which one? You choose it. Whatever color you think. Can you put it on for me? Yeah, it the bag. It's dry. It's dry. Aww, thank you, Maya. The next morning was really special because myself, Wendell, and Maya had a picnic on the beach and we got to swim with horses and do horseback riding in the sea. So that was really cool. Maya's 11th birthday was the previous week, so we thought it would be really cool and special to have her swim with the horses and then have our own little picnic on the beach. So Yeah, Maya was last week. Happy birthday to you. 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 Oh shoot, that's not what do you say? Yes. Oh dear. What do you say? We are back, we are back. So we went through Sunflower Stables to actually book this horseback riding in the sea and Miss Donna was amazing, her staff was amazing, everyone was very personable. Um, they will actually take your phone and get photos and videos of you while you're riding, while you're swimming with the horses. Wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine. 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 with the horseback riding we headed to the boardwalk where we did like a few excursions we snorkeled with the turtles which i didn't get much footage because i ended up leaving my waterproof case in the locker but it was it was really fun and after we did that we kind of just lounged around on the beach i met an amazing person named henderson he is so welcoming so friendly really good vibes so he sat there and he made matching travelers bracelets for my sister-in-law and i and he just had the best vibe ever y'all so if you guys are ever at the boat yard definitely check out henderson the next day we decided to do brunch at diaz and that was another amazing restaurant. It was literally right on the beach. So you had oceanfront views while you sipped your mimosas and ate your food. Y'all, the shrimp, oh my God. Like, oh my God, it was so good. Mm, 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 mm. We headed back to the villa and literally relaxed for the whole day. After we chilled for a bit, we decided to head to Oyston's to see you know, what that was about, but we ended up changing our mind and we went back to a restaurant near our villa called Harlow's and that the food was really good there. Um, we surprised Maya with dessert, a happy birthday dessert, and she was so surprised. It was all good vibes. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. And then it was time to head out. Our trip felt so short. So the next time we go, I definitely want to stay at least maybe 12 to 14 days to like truly get the Barbados experience because the Bayesians there are very friendly, very welcoming, and everyone had a great time. Trip was success. Now we head to New York, show baby girl around Times Square and stuff, and then back home. From Barbados, we decided instead of flying directly to Dallas, we decided to stop in New York for a night because we really wanted Maya to witness Times Square.
They both. You and that both. Oh. That girl gets a nice view in NYC. You, think? Oh. you like your view? Oh. What, you scared now? So that's how the Barbados trip went. It was a huge success. And I like y'all, I really and truly want to go back. Like I will go back, I, I promise. I'm gonna be back soon. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like this video and also leave me a comment down below if you've ever been to Barbados. And if you haven't, do you wanna go? What other places would you like me to travel to? I'm curious. All right, guys, that's it for today. See you guys later. Bye. Is it too much to